Hey everyone, I am back again with another get home bag related video. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy it and I will keep it a lot shorter than my original 35 minute get home bag video. Um, when I did that video I said that I would uh, try to drop back and, and do a couple short videos on assemblies, what I call assemblies of products for specific purposes. So I wanted to do one today that is what I call uh, shelter and sleep. It's only a couple of products. Um, <clears throat> a few of these products I've used. Um, a couple I have not used yet, but I've talked to people that have used them. They come highly recommended. And nothing here is, is uh, overly expensive. So let me start. The first product I have is a uh, UST tube tarp. The nice thing about this is you, you can set it up as a tube tarp that's basically seven feet long. Um, I believe it's 35 inches high at the peak and the side panels would be 40 inches or approximately 40 inches. The tarp itself zippers together so, it's, you, so you don't have loose ends. If you use it unzipped as just a tarp and not a, and not a tube tent, you have a seven foot by 10 foot tarp. Uh, it's totally waterproof. The inside is uh, what they call luminized to reflect heat. And mine, in particular, I took the olive green color. It is available in, in orange. Um, if I have to put it up as a tarp and I am in a get home situation and I'm walking, I don't necessarily want to advertise uh, where I am with, with a tarp in the air with, with bright orange. So, along with that, I have the SOL Escape Bivy sleeping bag. Uh, I have not personally used this yet, but I do know people that have used it. I also know of a person that had to use it continuously for six nights. Um, what's it's not single use, so that we, we've already determined that. The inside of it is 70% heat reflective. It is totally breathable. You're not going to wake up in the morning in your own sweat. Uh, it's water resistant, not waterproof, so you do need a shelter. But look how small this thing packs uh, and, and lightweight. I mean, this is a featherweight. Aside from that, I carry paracord, but it's, it's primarily if I'm going to put up a if I'm going to put up a, t a tarp. Let me backtrack a little on the tube tarp. The tube tarp does come with stakes and it does come with guy lines, so you can to, to help you get it set up. This is my um, this is my spool tool. I've had this for quite a while. I found out about them, and when they first came out, I got this. So this does have 100 feet of real power cord. It does have the mini Bic lighter, and it does have a line cutter. And I, I keep it with my, with my shelter stuff. Uh, additionally, and lastly, I have my U-Tool emergency blanket. This is, uh, this is really heavy duty. The typical ones that you see made by another company they're, uh, they're basically, it, this is not one of the thin single layer mylars. This is not a three layer, this is a five layer. Five layer. Uh, the inside is totally reflective as you can see. When you go to the corners, you've got the uh, grommets and they are sewn in with fabric and sewn in so you're not just pulling on, on this product. Um, it's totally waterproof, it's totally windproof. You could use this as a ground cover. Um, I could use this as a tarp over myself if I was going to sleep out in the open, but then uh, with, if, I, if I choose that option, I have a very bright orange tarp in the air, uh, which is, is not something that I want to, uh, to do. It's also strong enough where if you, had a, uh, if you had someone with you and they were injured and they couldn't walk and you had to drag them, almost like what we would call a deer drag, this this is this actually is strong enough to use as a as a, as a drag, uh, so or or you know, maybe some equipment you've got to take the backpacks off and and you just want to drag them. Um, so anyway, those are my major components of my sleep and shelter system. 
Uh, it's short, sweet, and simple. Um, and I, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll come back again with another pretty soon. Uh, like everybody that does YouTube videos, I really appreciate the like. And I would really, really appreciate the sub if, you, if, if, you, if you're happy with the video. Thank you.